Go to catch up all Pokemon fans. Welcome to another Placecape Games video. We're finally going to be opening the ultra premium collection. The most hyped, crazy, just mad product um, that Pokemon Company have released probably since I started in 2016. And uh, yes, we're going to be giving one of these away. One of you lovely people at home can win this ultra premium collection box. Please head to my Gleam giveaway, click the link in the description, uh, do some things to make me happy, and um, one of you could win one of these amazing boxes, which are retailing, reselling, well not retailing, for reselling for like three, four hundred dollars or something great, absolutely insane. But I'm gonna open one now, and I'm gonna be um, fanboying over the awesome things inside. Let's go, gotta catch them all. And here is the Ultra Premium Collection at last. We finally get to open this beautiful thing. And uh, yes, if you want to win one of these, please remember to hit the um, link below. Check out our Gleam giveaway where you can win this. And also the, the Chunky Pikachu VMAX figurine collection box. And you can even like see my hand in the background. They're awesome. But uh, yeah, this is this thing is just the amount of noise. I've never seen anything like it. Like I thought Hidden Fates was bad. Like, you know, when, um, what's I call it? When... Uh, all of the other products came out. I mean, I'll try and show it best as I can, but it's quite a large, big, heavy box. But um, yeah, just look at, look at everything. I completely forgot there's a Charizard pin badge in here. What? I'm more excited about the pin badge because I've seen so much about these metal cards. The metal cards are awesome, don't get me wrong, but I, there's actually a Charizard pin badge in here. If anyone's got any more pin badges, please message me. I need to buy some more pin badges. But um, yeah, oh my goodness. So there's all the stuff, uh, all of the you know, details, and you can hear like the coins and the things rattling around. For anyone that um, was around last year, this is this product, in terms of the shape and the design, this product's actually quite similar to the um, the last like um, ultra premium collection. We got the Zashin and Zamazenta one. That one's not as expensive now as this one is after that even just shows you like what how demand can, you know, change a product. But oh my goodness, look at this guys. So you got here the train on. Let's see if I can get this down a little bit so we can so you've got here the train on. I'm gonna. Re I've not opened this before. I've tried to avoid spoilers on this box before, but uh, this is you. This is you and me experiencing this for the first time. Oh my goodness! I need to get more zoomed out. But like, look at that, guys. Let's look. Let's look, at, look at the gold, like the, the embossment on there. Oh my goodness! Right. Okay. I think I might. Oh, I might have opened it the wrong way. Okay, I opened it the wrong way around. So it's got the like the little drawer here. I'll try. Try and sorry. Don't see too much of my room. So I've put this here. And oh my goodness, so we got like the little the little drawers here. Can I get this down any further? Yeah, okay, we can get it down for about here. So we got the little drawers here. It just looks absolutely beautiful. Once again, we'll just like put it out to see here. We got all of the Pokemon in the background. Oh my goodness, I am fanboying out so hard. And I love the little touch here. Look, little female Pikachu tail and the male Pikachu tail there. Um, but uh, yeah, let's have a look. So box number one. What's in box number one? So we're going to open them at one at a time. So here are the beautiful gold cards. I'm not as much of a fan of these because the stamps is a bit and the Pokeball. And it's, I'm not a fan of these. And this, yeah, but I'm probably going to keep these ones in my collection because, um, well, this one in particular is a little bit off-centered. But you can see there, um, Sword and Shield 146. In fact, yeah, I need this for my um, Celebrations Master Set. So I'm trying to collect all of the cards with the, uh, you know, with the 25th anniversary stamp. So that's, you know, that's something there. And what do we have here? Okay, so this one's a lot nicer. Look at this. So, oh my goodness, yeah, I like this one a lot more just because I like Pikachu. There's just this. This is just quite. This is just quite a poor card, but I, I really like the the um this one. You can see there, Sword and Shield one four five Pikachu. So this is a reprint of the new one that does two hundred and ten damage. Um, I, I'd love. I might actually play this in the deck one day if I ever if I ever play Pikachu V Max. I might actually play this in the deck. Like, no, Stephen, don't do it. People are saying. Um, right, so let's, I'm just going to put this here, now we can have stuff, maybe, maybe we can have things up here, so I'll put this up a little bit, any epic pools and stuff we get, can, do, do, they, do they still fit on the camera? Um, they just about still fit on the camera, yeah, we'll leave you up there. And in this pack is, this box here is all of the celebrations packs, okay, we're going to get, I think we're going to get everything out, because... Um, this this is taking up way too much space. Oh my, how many celebrations packs? This video is going to be a long one, guys. I think. <laughs> oh my goodness. Right, let's close the drawer. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Good lord, that is a lot of celebrations packs. Holy macaroni. Okay, I will get everything out and then I'll make space. So I don't know what this little tab here is for. Oh, oh, what's? Okay, how was that? Oh, I've got a phone call. One moment. Two thousand years later. Right, we're back. Just for my uh, landlord. So, yeah. So, and so we got the um, the awesome book here. I completely forgot there was going to be a book in this one as well. So, 
this is just really nicely done, like telling you about all the different, um, I might have a, re a good read of this later, this tells you about all the different, you know, things that are going on, all the different Pokemon that they've reprinted in the, in the box, you know, the Dragapult Prime Level X box, we've opened most of these boxes already actually, so, you know, check out my other videos, um, owner's Pokemon, so I think they reuse the text on the little flyers that come in the, that come in the boxes as well, so, you can pause the screen and have a little read of these if you, if you want to, Pokemon Gold Star, yep, 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 oh my goodness, the Metal and Gold cards, Celebrations bring some special cards. 25 years anniversary. Nice, nice. Um, the Okay, it's a promo card. So this is like a definitive list of all of the promo cards. So for a full master set of celebrations, you probably want to... Well, maybe you don't need to as much as me, but I'm trying to grab all of the... You know all of the different promo cards that come you know with the with the anniversary stamp and the mad in the folder but as you can see here the gold cards don't actually this you know the metal cards don't count so i'm not including those so i'm, I'm not sure what i'm gonna do. i might keep the piggy tree in my collection probably not sure about the charizard yet but let's open up the mid okay we're we'll gonna open up the middle draw last because that's not as exciting as that's the most exciting one and um yeah we've got one two three chilling rains one battle stars randomly and one, two, three, three Vivid Voyage. So that's eight more Sword and Shield era packs. A co card, which I need for my um, PECGO because I want to get this cool stuff on my web, on my, on my Twitch stream, twitch.tv slash PlaySkate Games. But I'm um, not sure what the string's for. But uh, oh my goodness, here's the pin badge. <gasps> it's beautiful. Please, if anyone has any more of these, please message me. I will, I will happily buy these pin badges. They're absolutely gorgeous. I love a little Pikachu on there. It reminds me of Special Delivery Charizard. And um, we show the metal coins, and then, oh, this is really nice. So again, like, there's four ver versions of the coins um, from Celebrations. Like, you had, like, you know, these ones, and you had, like, some of the other ones, like one from the mini tins, but that's really quite a nice little metal one there. And um, last but not least, uh, we have the beautiful metal cards. So a lot of people just leave these in the packages. I'm not going to do that. I want to show you guys these up close, because someone showed these to me the other day at my Pokemon League, and they were just absolutely crazy. Let's just have a look at this. Oh my goodness, look at their promos, oh my goodness. So, as far as I can see, they seem to be in really good condition, so I might actually end up PSA grading these. Um, if it turns out PSA do grade these, so I'm going to try sending them to PSA directly, see if they see if they keep them or reject them. If they reject them, I'm not going to be charged for the express grading fees. There's a tiny little, little nick at the bottom there, but oh my goodness, they're absolutely gorgeous. I don't know if I'm going to put this in my Pikachu folder. I'm probably going to get this one graded and keep it in my personal collection, because... Um, I don't think the metal card might be a bit weird in the folder, but you can still put them in a sleeve like this. And oh my goodness, it's really, it's really heavy. Like oh my goodness, I really love these metal cards. And the one that everyone is crazy about, oh, it slides out nicely. There we go. We got a beautiful metal base set Charizard. So obviously, both cards are actually from Mitsuhiro Rita. You know, the same, the same artist. But oh my goodness, the Charizard. So let's have a look at this. So yeah, I think it might be quite tough, guys, to actually get... P if they do actually grade these quite harshly, I don't know how harshly they're going to grade, but a lot, a lot of them seem to be... I've seen two of these now, and they have, like, little nicks on the corners. So if anyone ever gets one without any, like, little nicks on, like, you know, little little dings and stuff, they'll probably be really, you know, be really crazy to try and get this in a PSA 10. I wouldn't consider this, like, part of a Charizard Master set, because it's not a po actual Pokemon card. It's made out of metal. It's more of a decorative piece, hence why I'm not going to try and include it, like in my um in my like you know celebrations master set but oh my goodness it's absolutely beautiful i also love in the back like how the you know how the back's got gold in it as well and let's just do a you know a quick little you know close up again like oh my goodness it's all textured and it's just absolutely beautiful what a way to celebrate twin i'm just so sad that more people can't get hold of these hence why we're going to be doing our giveaway lovely people so make sure you click the you know click the link below and you know join the giveaway so let's see if i can if i can at least fold this up i might still have a bit of space um we put it like this way okay we'll put it like here in the background perfect we'll put it in the background we'll have the you know the metal cards we'll have the metal cards over here and then we'll, any any more epic pools that we get we'll um you know we'll put them along here and then obviously the um the gold cards as well put the gold cards down here i really love this pin badge it's time to open up the pin it's time to open up the um open up some of these booster packs good lord there's a lot of booster packs here well we'll just we'll just try and get through these as quickly we'll just put really big pools in the back no more chunky boys just really like the big classic collection pools at the back we're just going to try and go through these quickly reshiram lunar and obviously we've got a crap ton of codes to give away if you are watching this and you end up redeeming the codes you know please 
please leave a comment below. Oh, we got something. It's another. It's a guard chomp. Nice, nice. I might slow roll some of the other packs, but I, I, I'm very mindful that this video is in um, 4K and it's going to take ages to upload and render and process it. But nice Cynthia's guard chomp. See there. Um, where are my sleeves? Where are my sleeves? Sleeves are over here. So I'll put all our classic collection pulls at the back. We're still actually waiting to pull the um, Charizard. I think we've had the Blastoise, but we've not actually had the. We don't actually had the Venusaur yet, so we're still waiting to, you know, pull the pull the Venusaur. I might um, still do the pack trick for the um, for the Eight Sword and Shield era cards, but yeah, some people will be like, oh, I'm going to open the box, but not, you know, open the packs or whatever, and you know, sell the Sword and Shield packs. You should just set, oh, just open the Sword and Shield packs, guys. You know, it's oh, let's go. There we go. It's the birthday surprise Pikachu. I've been saying that I wanted to, you know, add a few more of these to my. Um, to my like to my personal collection like and stuff but oh my goodness look at this yeah i need one for, i needed an extra one for my folder one for my 25th anniversary collection you know one for my folder and obviously it was my birthday the other day so to get another birthday surprise pikachu makes me a very very happy panda this one's off centered actually i might even um i might even end up writing on the on the top to say it's steven's pikachu <laughs> like don't do that you're gonna hurt the damage i don't know Oh my goodness, those metal cars are just absolutely insane. In fact, you can actually see my hand and kind of like my background. You can see my t-shirt in the background of the card there. It's really cool. Um, another Chunky Boy, always happy to see those. And another code card. But yeah, this box is absolutely insane. Um, it's just it's just madness, the limited the limit, limited availability of these. You know, like, you know, I just see videos of people like queuing up to get into Smith's in the UK, the toy store, and just like... You know, oh, surfing P2V, nice. And, you know, queuing to get into the toy store and stuff. It's just it's just crazy, like, limited availability. And, but the thing is, um, there's a lot more availability for this than, than other so-called limited products have been at launch. It's just because it's such a highly demand product. And, you know, if anyone's got capital and they can find 10 boxes, I doubt, doubt any, like, serious average person can just find 10 copies of these at their Walmart and Target. You know, they're not going to be able to buy 10 of them Um Probably serious. I mean, I've seen some bot people maybe have a few, have a few, but that, those are like the, the, the you know extreme like people that can actually program bots. I have no idea how to deal with deal what to do with bots or anything. But um, long story long story short is that um, you know, there's been a reasonable amount of these. I've seen a lot of success stories of people. Oh, nice! First of our first of our you know sword and shield packs from our chilling rain. We get Flor Avery and and unlike most chilling rain cards, it's actually actually really nicely well centered so i will happily take a you know rainbow rare avery that's really nice but yeah generally people seem to be okay with getting hold of um getting hold of you know these boxes in general um but obviously it depends everyone's got a different story i mean so i said i can't speak for everyone and probably the majority of people that want them might not be able to get them but there's it's been a lot better than some other limited products i think i, I don't know i'm really I'm really out. Maybe I'm out of touch. I have no idea, but I just want to, you know, give. I'm going to give one away. So at least, hopefully, the person who wins the giveaway, um, you know, is someone legitimate that actually wants to either open it or at least keep it for their sealed collection and not intend to like resell it as soon as they, as soon as they arrive. Because it's such an. It's not really the best sealed item. Um, don't get me wrong. It's going to be. A, it's going to be. It's very expensive long term in the seal and for sealed, you know, sealed collectors. But nice, a nice serving PEG Vmax. It's going to be. Um, it's going to be very popular, like, long-term for sealed collectors, I'm sure. But it's not, like, it doesn't look very nice sealed. Like, I'd much rather have the chunky, you know, Pikachu VMAX box sealed. Because you can actually see the figurine. You can actually see the promos. You can't, you can't really, I mean, that's the box there. You can't really see much, um, you know. You can't really see much from the box from the front. So, um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see. But, yeah, I, ho I hope someone um, gets it that, you know, actually wants to open it. Or at least, you know, keep it. You know, for their for their sealed collection, but we'll have to see. The good thing is about Gleam, the the, the company that I'm using to do the giveaways. Apparently, they've got all sorts of because they've been doing give they've been doing Gleam giveaways for ages. Like, you know, they've been doing all sorts of you know crazy giveaways for um for things over the years. Like, you know, many many big companies have used Gleam before. I think iPhones, Apple's like technology stores, all sorts. So you you can't actually you can't even use them for free. I've actually paid like real money to to use the giveaway software because I'm plan planning to do more giveaways in the future. So hopefully you guys, you know, keep an eye out my social media. You know, you like all the various things that you know you can see the giveaways on. Um, annoyingly, apparently back in the day, Gleam you could actually you know you could actually do um, 
um, you know, force people, say force people, you had the option of having them like um, a YouTube, subscribe to a YouTube channel and like a Facebook page. Unfortunately, they took that away due to some kind of algorithms, but you can still like visit my YouTube page. And if you're watching this video, you know, you should be subscribed anyway. Why are you not subscribed? It's a nice rocket zap dose. I, used to, I went so crazy the first time I pulled this, but I think this is, might be like the third time I've pulled like... <laughs> Third time I pull Rocket Zap those. I'm only gonna make a noise like a crazy like you know like um, Boss Nass from Star Wars voice. I'm only gonna make that kind of noise. I think if I pull the Charizard, um, the Umbreon, or the Shiny Mew because we still need the Shiny Mew for my main set collection, and I still actually need a spare Charizard for my main set collection. I bought some Charizards off some lovely people at MCM London Comic Con. If you haven't already, you know, seen my vlog, click the link above and check out my. MCM London Comic Con vlog, but um, I've already bought a I bought I bought some Charizards off some lovely people there, and you know, but they were really nice ones. I'm planning to get potentially get graded in the future. Um, I've been so this is something that's good for the um, that we're going to be tell talking a lot to the Patreons about, but um, you know, I told the Patreons how to grade directly with PSA, you know, direct with PSA, so you don't you can. You know, you can you can have your options. I still I'm still going to be using middleman services when they open for a lot of my bulk cards. But you know, when you know, if when you're sending off cards that are you know worth spending one hundred and fifty dollars for on Express, it's nice to you know it's nice to have the option to um, you know to grade cards yourself. And yeah, I, I talk all about that on my Patreon. Obviously, so click the link, go to my Patreon. You know, um, how to how to grade cards with PSA. But I'm also um, you know, going to be talking a bit more about celebrations and some upcoming Japanese releases. You know, we talk a lot about a lot of different things on our Patreon. Um, another serving Pikachu VMAX, very nice. Talk about a lot of cool things on our Patreon. But, um, yeah, I hope everyone is having a good week. So, we were supposed to be having Fusion Strike build and battle boxes, um, you know. <laughs> this is so weird. So, they, they were delayed. So, some stores weren't receiving their Fusion Strike products until maybe next week. And some regions, they're delayed. But we, I literally just got a call from my local toy store to say that they've actually arrived already so you know if they'd actually allowed us we would have still you know had our fusion start unofficial fusion strike um you know sneak peek events um this saturday but they said oh no you can't you can't have you have to wait until next week because other people are still waiting for theirs which i can guess is fair because then some people might just go to the ones that have the stock and then you know, I've seen some other silly things like people selling them early for fifty pounds on a Facebook group. I think they're from a store in Real. Um, yeah, it's 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 crazy. So, um, it's pretty crazy. So, where was I going with this? I can't remember where I was going with this rant, lovely people. You have to you have to bear with me. Um, but um, where was I going? Oh yeah, so Fusion Strike pre-releases are now going to be next weekend. So you'll be able to pick up build and battle boxes um, next weekend. We should also have lots of um, booster packs and maybe some extra build and battle boxes left over, um, you know, the week after. We're going to be at Birmingham Comic Con on the 12th to the, I think it's the 13th to the 14th of, um, you know, the 13th to the 14th of November. We're going to be at Birmingham Comic Con, so you can come, alo come along, say hello, uh, pick up some Fusion Strike packs, we might have some Fusion Strike Elite Trainer boxes, maybe some Build and Battle boxes, you know, because it's the same weekend that Fusion Strike's officially out, so that'll be a good time to, you know, pick up your Fusion Strike goodies, and we're going to have lots of other cool things. Oh, I think there's an epic pool behind here, guys. Um, right, Ho-Oh, Palkia, Sogale, and... Oh, it's Don Fan. I had a feeling it was one of those kind of, you know, one of those kind of ones. I still need the... Um, I still really need the uh, the Mewtwo EX. So I still need the Mewtwo EX. So it started off really strongly, like Garchomp and Birthday Pikachu and Avery and like our first like four or five packs, and then it's just gone like super downhill. Clay, oh, that dose is nice, but like it's gone quite down downhill since then. So let's see if we can get at least one more like epic pull from like the Sword and Shield packs, and then maybe you know maybe one more classic collection pull from the you know from the. Uh, celebrations packs might be nice. Charmander, we're gonna get some luck from Charmander. Char, char, char. Electric and Dreadnought, maybe not. But uh, yeah, so we're down to um, three packs. So we're we'll open. We're we'll open two more of celebrations. Finish up the last of the main packs, and then we'll finish with that final booster pack of celebrations. I have still yet to pull. Um, I've opened. God, I must have opened over fifty celebrations packs. I've yet to pull the Charizard or the um, shiny Mew from the main set yet. Maybe one day, maybe one day. We've still got um, some V Union packs to open. Oh my goodness, that was awful. And we've still got some V Union packs to open um, when a V Union box comes in. And we're probably still going to open the Collector's Chest and the Dragapult Prime boxes separately because 
um, we had them sort of bundled together with the uh, with the you know the game exclusive, um, you know the game exclusive Dragapult box and the the, the you know the Amazon and game box that we we opened the other day, um, the Prime Collection I think it's called, Trombeak and a Togekiss V, very nice. Right, um, so last pack of Sword and Shield, Darkness of Blaze. But yeah, please, obviously, if you you might you probably would have done this at least you know multiple times already. Please make sure you go click the link, check out my Gleam because then you got a chance to win the Ultra Premium box, and also we're also giving away the Pikachu V Max figurine box, and third place gets a or oh, I don't know how it works with Gleam, but a, th a third person will also get a mini tin as well, so some more celebrations packs. So yeah, it started off so well with the Avery, and we only ended up getting a Tiger Kids from all of the other from all of the other Sword and Shield packs. But that's fine. We got two more packs to celebrate let's finish um let's finish with some you know last last two pack magic that, that'd be great but uh yeah please leave a comment below i mean how have you how have you been finding trying to get um you know celebrations products have you managed to get like other stuff have you managed to get the pikachu v max box um you know i'd love to know what you're up to um zekrom oh my goodness All right last pack magic guys come on let's see let's see it charizard we're gonna get we're gonna get Charizard to bless this last pack, so we say we can finally pull that Charizard Classic Collection card. I will also take an Umbreon Gold Star or a Shiny Mew. Let's go! Yeah, please leave a comment below. Make sure you like the video, subscribe, and also check out our giveaway. Obviously, yeah. Right, last pack magic. Let's go. Ho Oh, Lugia, Zash, and V, and. Venusaur, there we go. That's 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 a very now I will definitely take that for last pack of magic. We got a nice Venusaur classic collection card there, and it seems to be in really nice condition as well. So yeah, that's 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 beautiful. I'm very happy to see a possibly a gem mint 10 candidate for a for a, for a Venusaur to finish off right at the end. That is that is awesome. But yeah, this this box is insane. But obviously, you know, it's all about those those exclusive gold got you know gold metal cards um just they just look absolutely crazy um psa apparently does grade and we'll see how it goes let's see if they actually take the charizard i'm going to send the charizard off today and so we might see it come back in a future video but yeah i'd love to know your thoughts and um, please remember to enter our giveaway click link below enter the gleam giveaway um like the video leave a comment below subscribe to the channel and thank you so much for watching i will see you very soon pokemon fans we got to catch more a huge thank you to our lovely patrons. They get exclusive videos, market updates, Q and A's with me, and much more besides. Click the link below to join the Place Get Games Patreon, and I will see you very soon, Pokemon fans. Gotta catch more.